This video is going to center around my video capture PC, which is down there, which bases itself right now on an Intel DQ67 SWB3 motherboard with an i7-2600 CPU. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM on it. I forget what hard drive I put in it. I think it's a 320 gigabyte laptop drive, just some random drive I had laying around. And it's got uh, Windows 7 on it, 32 bits, because the capture card that's installed in it does not support anything better than 32 bits. You can go ahead and you can take a look here. And you can see Windows 7, 32 bit, 4 gigs, i7-2600. The other thing that's important for us is that this has a, oops, not the DVD drive, I don't care about that. The, uh, AMD rating on HD 6700. I think it's a 6770. It might be like a 6750. I don't remember exactly what it is. But either way, it's going to be getting some upgrades because that motherboard has the small problem of not having working Ethernet. Or at the very least, the Ethernet chipset will not run under Windows. Uh, you can see, or maybe you can see here, that, oh, I actually have it disabled in the BIOS, so you won't even be able to see it there, but you try to install the driver and it tells you that the device can't start. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, just that there is a, a pretty major problem. I haven't tried it under Linux or anything like that. I guess that'll be my next step, but at work we've been getting rid of a bunch of machines with i7s in them, so I've decided to give it a little bit of an upgrade. Originally I was just going to straight swap it, for another DQ67 SWB3 and i7-2600, but as it turns out, I actually found one of these in the pile of so-called green-out machines, or stuff for recycling. This is an Intel DQ77MK. I do have another one of these. It's got an i5 on it uh, that I actually put together myself, but this one actually has an i7-3770. So it'll be a little bit of a significant upgrade. Now, I hope that Windows is actually going to start up, considering the chipset change. Although it's going from an Intel chipset to an Intel chipset, so it should be fine. But uh, I guess we'll find out. This board has two Ethernet controllers. Uh, I don't know which one the primary one is, but I'm going to end up probably disabling one of them, just because I don't need both. Either way, I'm hopeful that this is going to be quite the upgrade. And in the process, I'm also going to upgrade the video card to this, which was with the same machine. It's a Radeon HD 7770, which should be a modest improvement over what's in there. And I can use that 6770 to upgrade other things. But i got to stop yanking and start working, get this done, because I've got a long list of these projects I need to work on. All right, here's what we've got in here now. Look at this mess. By the time this is all said and done, I should be able to remove that wireless card. And also, this video card is going to obviously get replaced. The unfortunate thing is that PCI slot is in the middle on the new board. And I'm wondering if that might actually block the fan on this card. Which means I might not actually be able to use this card in this machine. I might have to put it into something else. Which would kind of suck. But, I mean, it's not like this system needs anything better than what it's already got. This power supply, I didn't realize that this is actually what's in here. I don't even know where this came from. I can't remember buying it. I think if I remember right, I actually got this for free because the fan was bad and I just replaced the fan. But I'm not positive. So, I'm going to have to pull this stuff out of the way so that way I can actually install the new board here. Okay, the new board is installed. I think everything is cabled up correctly. Yes, I did skip a bunch of steps. Oh well, I mean, you've seen computer work on this channel millions of times. You've even seen me work on a similar motherboard a couple of times. I've left the original RAM in for now. I just want to see if the system will work because I know this motherboard did work previously. So, 
I guess we'll find out if everything works or if something explodes. I should probably get that screw out of there. Let's kick the power supply on. And we'll see what happens. I don't see a green standby light. Uh, that's a good sign. All right, take two. Uh, what had happened, I guess the power cable was slightly unplugged from the motherboard. I'm gonna have to do some cable tying, I think. Hopefully, this decides it's going to work. And it looks like we've got a video issue too. Good, awesome, that's just what I need. So I know exactly why we have a video issue. I forgot to plug in the six pin power connector, dang it. Okay, well, it is partially working. You can see I've gone back to the old video card because this thing will not output video on the DVI, it seems. So, I don't know if there's a problem with the card, or if it just doesn't like this machine, or what's going on. I might have to try that in something else, and see what happens. Now you can see that it is working, with the 3770 CPU. I'm going to go ahead and change the RAM, because it doesn't need 12 gigs of RAM. And I think everything else is pretty well okay. I don't need to set any of the settings otherwise. Then we can boot into Windows. Okay. Fire it up. Let's see what it does. Intel desktop board inside. I was going to disable the non-used Ethernet controller, and I just forgot to do it. And I'll do that after I reboot the system, I guess. I think I've got it plugged into the right controller. See, the thing that always kind of interested me is that even though it's the same video card, the video driver has not loaded. It's very strange. Okay, so after fighting with the computer for about 40 minutes, here we are now. 3770. Let's go to the Windows Experience Index. There were the old scores. I don't expect that there'll be much of an improvement. Well, let's just run it anyway and see what happens. Okay. As you can see, Modest CPU improvement gives you a modest performance improvement. But every little bit helps, especially with hardware this old that really has no business being in daily use at this point. I mean, what, Ivy Bridge is 2012, 2013? It's been over seven years. Unfortunately, my audio doesn't work. which is not a fault of the computer, I don't think. I think it's a fault of this monitor, because it wasn't working on the other board, either. Not really sure what happened. I have to power cycle the monitor and see what happens. Well, unfortunately, I still can't get the sound to work, so I think that I'm going to have to find another set of speakers, or probably replace this monitor is more like it, with one that actually has a functional set of speakers. I don't have another monitor that's got speakers, dang it. So I'm going to probably have to find one from somewhere. Oh well, them's the brakes, I guess. At least the computer works now. And with that, I'm going to thank you for watching, and if you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below.